What do you do when it's a cold, snowy day? Yes, this is snow. Now, yesterday on Thursday, it was really windy. It got cloudy, got really cold, started raining, and then it turned into snow. Didn't last long, didn't do anything, which is good, but it made me want to go up and get my wreath done. I am going to be doing a Mackenzie Childs inspired fall slash Halloween wreath. And I'm going to be using this wreath to make it. This is the one I made for 4th of July. And everything you can just take off. Real simple. I'm going to use the grapevine again. I don't like to hot glue on my wreaths because I do like to reuse them. Because I have, I normally use this size wreath here for my 4th of July and my fall. So here is my inspiration. This is their Nevermore Feather Wreath, but I am going to do my take on it. So let's get started on my wreath. Now that I have everything off, see how easy this was to take off? This was just wired on and it's just a piece of the mesh wire, wire wreath form that you can get. And I did get this one that I'm going to cut up now at the Dollar Tree. The one I used previously was from Walmart, so it was bigger. So this one's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. I'm going to have to shape this one a little bit. The first thing I want to do is take my wire cutters and cut this right here. And I'm probably going to cut a section or two out of this. And I'm going to bend it out a little bit. Pull it more. Got to stretch it because I need it to be more of a half circle, but like I said, I'm not going to use this whole piece. And keep bending it. Let's see how much I want to use here. So I want to figure out where I want to cut this. I'm just going to keep shaping it the best I can and it did break on me a little bit but that's no big deal it's gonna get all covered up and sometimes you just have to work with these so I'm gonna cut it right here I think I can make this whole section work like this And you can see where that came apart, but like I said, it's going to get all covered up. You won't even see that. I'm just going to keep trying to shape it and see things, you know, these are not <laughs> the, be the best quality when you're trying to move them a little bit. They did pop off, but again, like I said, you're not going to see it. So I think this is going to work. I can make this work. Well, decided I'm just going to have this many sections on here, just have four sections. And I think that's going to be enough for the wreath. So I am going to be adding some of these just out of some ribbon. This is a ribbon I already had. I've had this for a few years. I'm going to use the black and white polka dot, a solid orange, and then the black and white harlequin. And you know, I didn't even measure these. I just go, oh, this is a good length, and I just cut everything this length. So I'm just layering them, putting them together. I'm going to take some floral wire, and I'm just going to wrap it around and twist it. And that is all I'm going to do to it. I'm not going to use any of the, the mesh on here. I'm just going to use regular ribbon. And as you can see, I'm going to use those leaves there too. So now I'm going to be attaching these and the leaves to my wire form. Now I've gone ahead and done these three and yes they are moving a little bit but the leaves are going to go in between and that will hold them a little bit and then I still have one more item I want to put in there so they will stay in place after that. So basically you can just attach this anywhere you want to on your wire form. And you could use uh, pipe cleaners because I 
we'll be using some pipe cleaners when I put the leaves on. And I got just a little bit too much wire, so I'm going to cut it off. This wire is so thin you can cut it with scissors. You don't have to have wire cutters. And like I said, the leaves, I'm going to be cutting these off and sticking them in between the ribbons. Now, I've done a few bunches here, and I'm just going to finish it off on this end. And here is my little bit of a pipe cleaner. Don't have to have it very big at all. Just going to put it around, twist it. Okay. And then I have another little small piece that I'm going to tuck in here. And put another little bit of a pipe cleaner on here and twist that around. And that is all I'm going to be doing right now on here because I'm going to show you what I'm going to be putting on the rest of the grapevine. I went ahead and attached this first. Ready for this? What's going to go here? Here it is, an orange boa. I ordered this off of Amazon. It was only like $10 and some change. And I am just going to put this over here. Now, you know, you can get those black feather reefs on Amazon, but my door's black. You're not going to see it. <laughs> so I wanted orange, and this is the best thing I could find. I did cut the boa here, and this is just going to get tucked under. It kind of fits perfect here. And I'm going to use my floral wire again just to tack it in in about five or six spots so that it stays on. And I've already done it on the rest of it, and this is the last piece here. I'm just going to keep twisting and twisting and, being, and tucking it in on parts of the grapevine. Okay, now I just need to cut a few pieces off of the rest of the boa and stick them in between with the leaves and the ribbon. Now that I've done that, I just did three pieces. I have these cute black and white striped pumpkins and these black pit berries here. I spray painted them. I didn't have any black. I had white just like this and I spray painted them with some gloss black paint. Just going to tuck a couple in here just at the end of my wire form. I'm going to do it on both sides if I can get it to go in. Okay, and the pumpkins are going to go in here at the end. And here is the other pit berry pick that I'm going to be sticking in here. And here at the other end, I'm going to stick in the other two pitberry picks and the pumpkins. And you know, it would probably look kind of cute to put some more of the pitberries in the feathers over there, but I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I kind of like it. Okay, now we're going to be putting it on the front door. But before we do that, let's check out my house paint colors. Here is the before on the front of the house. I'm going to do a few pictures here. Here's the after. It's kind of turned out to be a grayish green color. Here's the before. So the shutters are kind of the same color, just a little bit darker. And we did do the garage doors the dark brown, which I do like that since the shutters like this. Side of the house before. And here's the after. I am starting to like this color. 
Here's the back corner by the patio before, and here's the after. You know, the other color was so faded, it was almost kind of looking yellow. Here's the before of the back, and here's the after. All right, so now we're going to head to the front porch and hang the wreath. Here is the wreath on the front door. I'm loving it. It is going so well with my pumpkin topiaries that I did. But I want to add one more thing to the wreath to make it like the Nevermore one. So you got to have a raven. I could use this raven here, just a regular one, or I could use this dandy guy. I love him. I got him. I think I got him from Pier 1. I love his top hat and his bow tie. He's going to go in the wreath. Isn't he adorable? I just love him in the wreath. And you know what? This wreath is going to be interchangeable for me. Let's look at this as a whole. I really like this, but you know what? Like I said, it's interchangeable. This is more what I'm going to have on the front door for through Halloween. And then I'm going to take that orange boa off on the one side and the raven. And here it is really quick. This is what it's going to look like for the rest of the season until I do Christmas. Of course, I still need to do the rest of my porch. Today it's sunny, but it's still kind of chilly, a little bit of wind. But like I said, I got to get this porch done. I'm going to work on it this weekend. I'm going to put a little bit of things over here on my table and just a little bit over here on the bench. And down here at the lanterns, I'm going to be putting out all my real pumpkins and some leaves and some flowers. I'm going to tie that all in on each side. I think it'll look really pretty with this. So that's it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up from everybody. And if you're new to my channel, I'd just love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the bell to get all the notifications of my new videos coming up. Monday will be the front porch. Wednesday, we'll do a few vignettes and hopefully by next Friday, we'll have the whole home tour for fall. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.